Hi, I'm Shannon Alexandra, I'm 26 and a breast cancer survivor. Hi, I'm Nikki, I'm 33. I was diagnosed with secondary breast cancer with spread to the bones back in April of 2018. Hi, I'm Angel, I'm 25 and in August 2018, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a form of blood cancer. I found my lump when I was 20. I was diagnosed at 21. I had just gone into my second year of uni. It was all a bit new for me and yeah, it, it completely shocked me. Um, I actually found my lump completely by chance. I wasn't looking for signs and symptoms of breast cancer like you should be doing. Um, I actually was having a movie night with my boyfriend and we were laying in bed and I was balancing a bowl of popcorn on my boobs when I felt the bowl like dig in at a weird angle um, and it sort of made a weird twinge. So I then had a little feel around and I found a lump and went to my GP and that's kind of what got the ball rolling with my diagnosis. I actually had four of the breast cancer symptoms. My nipple inverted, my skin was dimpling, I had pain and a lump. I did the sensible thing, went to go and see my GP, was referred straight away after mammograms, biopsies and lots and lots of scans, I was told I had primary breast cancer. It wasn't until a week later that I found out that the back pain I'd been experiencing was actually cancer that had already spread. So instead of going in and getting my mastectomy and chemotherapy plan from my doctor, I was told that my cancer had already gone to stage four, it was now incurable, and I would be on treatment for life. Three or four months prior to my diagnosis, I had noticed several lumps on the left side of my neck, and honestly, they were the first and only symptoms which led me to go to my GP and get checked, and I'm so very thankful that I did. Be persistent, that's one thing I will say. I would say that cancer has impacted me in numerous ways, but the biggest way that it's impacted me is that it's taught me to live in the moment and to live for myself and to live unapologetically. Being diagnosed with secondary breast cancer completely changes your life. You have to forget what you thought your life was gonna be and completely start again on a new path. Cancer has impacted my life in so many different ways, but the greatest impact it's had is I found myself. I discovered self-love and the power of really just owning who I am and being unapologetically me. I used to have so many insecurities that held me back. I used to have this biggest fear of failing. Um, and since, you know, going through what I've been through, I've realised that life is so short and that I should just appreciate the opportunities that I have here around me. Unfortunately, my diagnosis does affect quite a lot of aspects of my life, including my fertility. I'm no longer allowed to have children. I take daily tablets to keep my cancer stable for as long as humanly possible. I live in three monthly blocks from scan to scan. I have blood tests done every three weeks. I no longer have the privilege of looking further into the future than three months. I think that people can help spread awareness by sharing social campaigns, you know, sharing things on Instagram, on Twitter, however you like to use social media, make sure that you're, you know, spreading information and that you are telling your friends as well, telling your friends and family to check their boobs, make sure that you're checking your boobs. Use your voice. And if it's not your voice, someone else's. Share posts, talk about it, open that conversation, know the statistics and do your research. Get involved with fundraisers for charity, things like Race for Life, do like sponsored walks and runs and yeah, just there's a, there's a whole number of ways that you can get involved and raise awareness. I know cancer can be daunting. I know it can be really scary to talk about. However, if we aren't having honest and open discussions, we don't know the signs and symptoms to look out for. Early detection saves lives. So if you tell one other person and they tell someone else, it creates a ripple effect of people knowing what to look out for. So just get talking and don't be afraid. The more people that are talking about breast cancer, the signs and symptoms, what to look out for, the treatment lines, the research, the more people ultimately we're gonna save.